<laughs> that can be some bonus material. Here's Keith on a okay. rant talking about nothing. Yeah. <laughs> put, his, put his problems with technology, which is nothing new. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get it started. Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm Keith. I'm Merlin. Merlin's our first guest. And the reason he's our first guest is because he invented, well, he didn't invent something. We just, you came up with an idea on the spur of the moment that was amazing. So we will recreate that spur of the moment. Even magical. Later today. Okay. But Keith was ranting because traffic, because somebody yeah. hit a telephone pole. Somebody hit a telephone pole. And, <laughs> and, and, and my role was to bring, to, can I give it away? Can I give away the hit? Can't give it, I'm going to give it away. Give yeah, it away. Oh, absolutely. Oh, but so, while so, you're so, talking, I'm one of poor beer. Should we start with this one? Uh, it, it'll be the least sweet, so yes. Yes, okay. All right. Top yeah, so my, right. my task was to uh, bring ice cream. So knowing that it's a long way out here and I got my cold pack and I got the frozen ice packs. So it's covered the ice cream. I'm just like, but I'm stuck in traffic and with it. What, and they're waiting for me and what if it melts? And so I'm just like, all right. Relax. It's out of your control. <laughs> because, you know, but you know that somebody hitting that, a telephone pole is right. not anything you can do something about. I am traffics. All Sorry, right. Waiting in traffic. So I am pouring our first beer and then I'll tell everybody what it is. And it's very dark. It's called black, right? It's called uh, Death and Taxes. Actually. Death and Taxes. Death and ta I love right. that. Yeah. Well, that's, you know, and, to and, counterpoint and, our, our our sweet theme, something yeah, that's there's, so there's, there's nothing There's nothing sweet about death or taxes, so we can sweeten it up. Death and Taxes Black by Moonlight Brewing. This is original San Francisco-style black lager, deceptively dark yet surprisingly light-bodied, Drinkable and perfectly refreshing and delicious. It is do do do. There ain't no this ain't no factory beer. That's cute. I'm trying to find oh five point three percent alcohol. Keep it cold and drink fresh. Okay, so hopefully you right, can. You can see oh yeah, Merlin's gonna have to. So you can see the beer that we're drinking. All right. Well, Ooh. let's all mm. smell it. Cheers. It doesn't oh. smell. <laughs> well, mine's, mine's gonna smell. Mine's gonna smell exactly like yours, Mark. Well, you, you look like. Why are you pulling it? away? <laughs> oh my god. You said. What does yours smell like, Lisa? <laughs> Not yours or Merlin's, apparently. Um, I am getting a fruitiness out of it. I didn't see much in there, but it does have a coffee. It does have a coffee flavor to me. Well, if it's coffee, then it needs to be sweetened up. <laughs> I, I agree with that. Coffee Sweet. by itself is yeah right. But okay, yeah, now I'm just, getting a hint of some some like caramel. Keep it cold. It just it's like, I can yeah. taste the taxes. <laughs> yeah, taste the taxes. Oh my gosh! Because it's yeah. tax season. It's like. It gives me everything but the flavors. Yeah, so while Keith is examining the can, it's this black the big issue sense. with us is living on a two-lane highway. When somebody hits a telephone pole, pretty much everything has to stop until they can take the telephone pole and make it upright again and move the vehicle. Right. So. Well, like taxes in death, <laughs> not pressed. So <laughs> we need to add something to this to sweeten it up. Yeah, not impressed with it, huh? Yeah. Well, I, I would I would count this as a stout. It, or it is a stout, but yes. No, it's a lager. It's a lager. Yeah, it says it's a uh... black. <laughs> yeah, black lager. Dang. Yeah, which which you can have. I mean, um... yeah, it doesn't have the. It doesn't. It's not as heavy. It hasn't yeah. been aged enough to be a stout. Yeah. So... Light body. Light body is something you'll never hear in a stout. Yeah, that is <laughs> okay, true. Good We've point. had the blonde. Remember, we had the blonde stout, which is weird because that's like a blonde beer, but it was still you know, very heavier, heavy. right? Oh, and yeah. as a callback to one of our other uh, shows, guess what I had on tap at uh, Public House yesterday? What did you have? The peppercorn wit. Ooh, they had it on tap. Monkless. Peppercorn wits on tap. You need to immediately text me when that happens. 
it's, it's my favorite beer. I yeah, love it. Oh it's, my God. it's on tap at, uh, at Public House. At least it was last night. And last night, it, the place was packed. Well, Saturday night, and it was warm, so not surprising. Yeah, because of the but warm the weather. So, like, their patio is a place to be. Yeah. And they, have, they, have, well, they, have, they have movie nights there. Nice. No, not just movie nights. So, you can go, like, so this public house was just great in Springfield. They're, imagine their little patio, because the thing used to be, like, this whole, whole gigantic church. And so, like, the back of a church where you have the church picnic, uh, it's Oregon and it rains, so they have to have it covered. So, they have all these food trucks around. And they replaced the lawn uh, with like artificial turf. But yes. back when it was regular grass, uh, grass they would have movie nights always during the summer. Is it like they're so they're like, yeah, go ahead and just camp out here, and uh, yeah, and you know, just text them. We'll bring you your beer and your food. I'm like, this is a magical thing. How come people? <laughs> and I'm like, like, why am I? I'm like, oh, because uh, you know, because I'm an adult and adults don't do this. But uh, so the only difference is like it's now artificial, and they tell you on their little Facebook thing, like, yeah, bring your blanket. So, like, get comfortable as we watch this movie, and they have a big old screen up front. And I'll never forget it because they'll tell you in advance, like, with the movies, like, you're like, oh, I'm going to go see an adult movie. Like, oh, it's Shrek. No, <laughs> go there, and they did, like, office space. And so everybody's like, oh. oh, that's a classic, right? But then all of a sudden you see them building up there, and like, we go, like, oh, in honor of office space, you still do the watch the movie, but we'll have a, what kind of room do they call where you, like, break stuff? Oh, uh, Rage House. Yeah, Rage, Rage House. House. Oh, my God. So people, they put on gear, the goggles, and say, like, okay, we're going to put on. And they did all office space stuff. So they did, like, old computers and monitors. And, printers. Printers. Like, and people are like, I literally get, yeah, here's, here's your little sledgehammer. Or here's your <laughs> baseball bat. And people are doing that. And people walk up go, like, I like that. I feel Pretty good. Much. I feel better. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, yeah, that's a thing. They go, it's kind of therapeutic, isn't it? You just get to bash stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's encouraged and legal. Oh, I love axe throwing. I had right. so much fun throwing axes. But you know, uh, people look at you kind of different when you're picturing like a person's face rather than the target. Don't. Well, you being you probably <laughs> told people, oh, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm seeing your face on the axe throw. <laughs> I would not say that. Only in my inside voice. <laughs> you used your outside voice. I wouldn't say that. Voice, didn't you? <laughs> okay. Well, if we're not exactly happy with this beer, we can pass. And let's let's add ice cream. That. You want to add ice cream to this beer and see yes. what happens. Okay, let's try we have this. tons of ice cream. Okay. 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 So, I feel like you're that, thing. that was Merlin's was secret was he, we threw ice cream into one of our very sweet beers that we'll taste later. The yeah. only one we're not going to throw ice cream into is that. I don't think it needs it. I don't oh, think it It's going to be either. so sweet. Okay. So here we go. A scoop. Do you mind if I use my finger? No. No, you can, but you need to use more of your finger. What, what's this like with the <laughs> child's? Oops. Uh, well, we're having more. Sir right? Serving of like. A child serving of ice cream. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. Dude. Give me the Smurf serving. Um, <laughs> Treat it like now it's I'm going to lick my float. finger, so you guys are really going to. Okay, there you it's go. It's all right. Merlin's already smelled my beer. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's how close we are. I know. All we right, are look at this. One big happy family. Beer float. And if you've never heard of this, this okay. is a thing. Ooh. All right, so let's swirl this around and see. Now it's going to be like a coffee float because I do get the coffee flavor. I, I've never had a coffee float, although that does sound really good. Why would you want to? Oh, look, and I even brought spoons. I was so smart. And here's a napkin so I don't have to lick my fingers next time. I can just, you know. Use oh, but my you napkin. have to lick your fingers. Right? I, <laughs> do that. That's do part the of thing that, oh, do the very unsanitary. I'll have to put a um, if you're a germaphobe, uh, too late. You know, thing up front, <laughs> the um, trigger warning. Uh, I mean, it's not that. I don't think you need to put that <laughs> kind of. It's, it's like if one of if I had sneezed in Keith's beer, then it would be like trigger warning. Crossing the line, Merlin. <laughs> <laughs> you can smell my beer all you want. <laughs> don't sneeze in it. Whatever you do. <laughs> Immediately better. I agree. It it this is it makes it smoother. Mm -hmm. Kind of rough, uh, sweetens up the that the coffee. Oh god! Taste that we don't. I almost forgot. Would you almost forget? Oh my gosh! Keith is off camera, running around. Uh, he ditched for us. For everyone's he, safety. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! 
lactate. This is not an advertisement for lactate, but but it is because I, yeah. I will fart them right off camera. <laughs> I'm lactose intolerant. It's, as it's real ice cream and made from cream, I better go six. Yes, thank you for buying the good this, stuff. This, so this, local this is a Tillamac six are... lactate pill situation. <laughs> but it's also, um, we're using Tillamook vanilla bean, and Tillamook is our local organ uh, dairy. And we love Tillamook cheese, oh, it's Tillamook so good. milk, Tillamook ice cream. Tillamook's the best. Tillamook Cur the Tillamook best. curds. I've never I haven't had their curds. No. Oh, you can right when you walk out of the well, the thing I haven't seen them in stores. They sell yeah, out of like that, but like most oh, cheese factories factory. that you go to, uh, you can get the cheese, but they'll also have like cheese curds. And people are like, well, what are you doing? Like, you've never had like deep fried cheese curds. Oh my god! Also called squeaky cheese. Now, most people when they hear that, they're like, oh, it's going to be cheddar. Yes, they have cheddar curds. But one magical time I was walking out and they're like, oh, we have pepper jack cheese curds. Life changing. That sounds It was so good. So yeah, if you have a chance to have cheese curds, also called squeaky cheese, get it. I've heard of squeaky cheese, but not... That's what it is? Mm. I've never heard of squeaky cheese. I gotta say, this beer is a lot better. It's a lot better. It's vanilla ice cream. (laughs) Like, you you got some caramel tones in it Mm -hmm. and very much coffee. But now it's like, ooh, vanilla. Yeah. Very good. That's what it needed. Yes. I also I strongly do recommend doing, yep, doing your taxes while eating ice cream. Yes. Mm-hmm. That is one it, of the ways it'll where... Make it, it'll, it'll kill some of the pain. Less depressed, depresso. <laughs> Less depresso. This is why we're going to have Merlin again. Yeah, for things like that. It's not just the beer sniffing. It's going to be... <laughs> Really funny lines. <laughs> Tongue in cheek. Oh uh, my gosh. You guys already finished? Oh my god. Yeah. No, well, well, I you do all the talking. Good beer. Or, you know, so it was you do all the talking, we'll do all the drinking. It's okay. All right. So our next beer. We've already had a claim fifty two beer, but so many claim fifty two beers are sweet that I found one at mom's house or one at Karen's house. That's my sister and my mother. Uh, mom being mother. Um, so, <laughs> well, I realized I said Karen's name and I don't call my mom by her formal name. So it's just mom. I don't even know her formal name. It's Joanne. It's grandma. Oh, grandma. Yeah. Well, grandma. <laughs> it's Joanne. So, Whoa. Uh, it's no L. Joanne. Oh, Joanne. Joanne. Yeah. So, Can you buy an L? Uh, she will answer to it, but you no, know, I'll, only because it's Dolly's song. No, I'll, I'll call her mom. We, is, we have a good rapport. Yeah. Very much. I wouldn't want to ruin it. Yeah. She calls you and your brother, the boys, They're the boys. <laughs> so anyway, I underestimated. How it's like, smooth. are they here? Did they show up? Yeah. Where are the boys? I need to see my boys. Okay. Once again, licking my fingers. All right. This is cam. very smoothie like. It's Cocoa. very smoothie like, yes. And you don't need to add ice cream. So, this is the Spooky Pebbles Cheesecake Dessert Sour by Clem 52, which, again, if you've been watching, you know Clem 52. And Keith and I absolutely love it. 6.5% alcohol. It is heavily fruited. Re fermentation can occur if not kept cold. Seriously. So, It'll blow up. Yeah, so it can. It can. And uh, keep it cold. But it's produced and packaged in Eugene, and they have really, really fun artwork and on all of their cans. So, once again, we'll put it right here so you can see it. To me. We'll move. Place. Yeah. Oh, Merlin. Why did you Sorry have your spoon in your lap? I. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. I know. Yeah. That's, that's why. Don't worry. There's more spoons. There's more spoons. So... Okay, and as you can see, yes, very, very Ooh, much. Fruity. That smells like the cereal, and that's the whole point oh, of it is shit. to make it smell, smell like cereal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh Cheers. my gosh, it's so good! Cheers, oh. yes. Cheers, and uh, yeah, so it does absolutely smell like fruity pebbles. Whoa. That's really sweet. It's so So sweet. sweet. And that's the whole theme of today's beers, other than death and taxes. 
but that's okay. You know, did did you browse the fruit from the bottom? <laughs> it's well, a, I called to it, but I don't know. If it's, it, it says browse, browse uh, fruit from the bottom of the can before opening. Yeah. Mm. Rise fruit. <laughs> yeah, I don't really Come shake. On. No, I like don't want you to shake it. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, so good. Oh, and for people that don't know, you can just. Uh, when we had our lovely ice storm, and I told that whole story about dragging my friend from their house over here for dinner because they had been without power and people for days. That and, was Merlin. Yep, and then taking him back. That was Merlin. Yeah, you guys <laughs> proof, proof of life. He's yeah, alive. He made it. He survived it. It was crazy, though. It was <laughs> so crazy. Part of what Lisa didn't know when... when um, when she had made the original, when she had made the previous episode, was that actually a tree fell down after I went by it, and I had to. I, it wasn't just climbing over trees; I went under a tree too. It was so scary, and I didn't tell Lisa that because, you know, I just gotten home. I didn't want anyone to think, "Oh, Merlin's gonna die by himself," because <laughs> alone in the cold, because yeah. a tree will fall on you. Smelling of tree sap. Yeah, it was it, it was so scary though, and that's why I got home and 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 before you did in particular is yeah. because that tree fell and I went. Now we're walking even faster because yeah. there was no running. Like as Lisa mentioned, there's hills all over that road, and um, and and because it was so it icy, was icy. Yeah. it was so icy. There was no such thing as running. And I have time. two cans of this. If you guys, I was going to say because I'm. I was taking it slow because I didn't no, know if I had to save it for ice. I'm happy to pour the second can. So I it's agree. the Waste same not, flavor. Why not. I know, and it's been a while. It's been in the fridge for quite a while. Oh, is that Brent Levin? Mm -hmm. That's Brent Levin. Okay. I think he's decided to go shopping. <laughs> it's all good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my husband's left left the property, so oh well, he'll be back. Anyway, oh yeah, and this beer, woo, I can just, I love it. I love it, the sweetness. I love the thickness. I love the flavor of it. If nobody told you and you just drank it, you would not think six point five. No, oh, you, know what I mean? you wouldn't think it. You'd be no. like, oh, it's just like a smoothie. I wouldn't know. Yeah, it's a crime to have this warm. I'm gonna say that now. Yeah, most, That's why you don't. and you know me. <laughs> I, I'm a firm believer that you should be able to drink beers cold and warm, mm -hmm. and they should taste different but good. I this, agree. This beer, because it's so fruited, yes, I agree. Warm is not is not the right way to go with it. So cold. Oh, sorry. How do I rouse the fruit? Here, I'll gently shake it. It's roused. It's roused. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. We asked it, and it did it. Are so. you up yet? Yeah, wake up, you fool. So, so the oh. trick, so the trick with this one is going to be it's a fruited sour. So we're going to see how the difference the vanilla bean ice cream the sweetness does to the sour. You know, sweet and sour. You want ice cream? You want to put ice cream in this beer? Aren't we doing that? I mean, <laughs> I will happily. I, I am not, so not going to do it. Well, was this just a dare? Hey, bring ice cream. Are we going to use it? <laughs> not at all. I just wanted to bring ice cream. Yeah, I guess I, I thought, okay, <laughs> fine. But oh my God, this beer is so sweet. I thought we were going to have a specialty like, oh, this, we're having a special. Like this pairing? Yeah, like a pairing. Pairing can <laughs> happen down the road. We talk about food so much. And I know. We're, but the, we're all, our little group is all foodies, so. The problem is people with misophonia who don't like to hear chewing noises on video. So what are we going to do about that? Mute. Those people can mute. And that's true. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we do talk about food a lot because what else are you supposed to do when you drink beer? This You're is going to be crazy, Keith. Okay. Uh, okay, fine. I guess I'll do it. Peer pressure. <sighs> peer, pressure. Peer, pressure. Peer, pressure. peer pressure. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Oh, my Lord. This beer does not need any more sugar. And you guys are making me put more sugar in. You deserve it. You deserve it. You've, done your, you've already done your taxes. That means you deserve <laughs> it more. <laughs> I've done my taxes. But when it gets, like, you can see the color differential between <laughs> up here where the ice cream is at and down here where this more thicker smoothie part is. Makes it creamy. Oh my gosh. It's like, That's like a, a milkshake. 
Fruity Pebbles <laughs> cream soda. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Yep. This is crazy. So you guys. people say like, no, I don't have any room for dessert. Serve them this. They'll be happy. Oh my gosh, this is nuts, you guys. This is genius. <laughs> not, <yeah. laughs> not not genius. genius. <laughs> Keith. It's a it's a, it's a magical happening, I'm telling you right now. It's like, yeah, most of the greatest happening. inventions happen by accident. So this is a happy oh accident. Gosh. I apologize to anybody watching from Aelsung that we're using your classes. <laughs> mm. Claim 52 will be cool with it. But <laughs> that being said, I read an article in the New York Times, um, Wirecutter, and they did beer tasting out of different styles of glasses to see if any one glass was better than the other. Mm -hmm. This shape, this tulip -y shape. Well, no, because I think this is more of a tulip. Right? These are the tulip glasses. I don't know what they call these glasses, but they have the rim that comes. They said most people could smell the beer best out of these glasses. See, that's what I thought the whole shape was. It was mm -hmm. about like a, when you tip it, like it mm -hmm. promotes like the little nose of the beer. So. Yeah. And this, sadly, I do have the link to it, but maybe I'll try to, oh, I'll type it into the notes on this one. So if you want to go read the New York Times article. Yeah. I will, I will, I will make that happen. And now you have homework. This is so good, guys. Mm. This, this is so good. Read New York Times articles. If you have diabetes, don't drink this. Oh, wow. Oh, do drink it. It'll be worth it. That's no, right. no, 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 no. <laughs> hey, it wasn't just taxes, beer. It was taxes and death. Yeah, exactly. And death. So if you're going to go, make it sweet. What am I going to do with these two? Cheers. <laughs> you guys. Sweet, sweet. Dad. Oh, my gosh. Seriously. Oh. Isn't that good? Mm. It's a little <laughs> sweet, too much. creamy. It's crazy. I don't know what to tell you guys. It, you guys it, are it is a bit too much. But corrupting. But haven't people said that about us a time or two? Oh, for sure. For too sure. much. <laughs> Always. <laughs> too much. You guys are crazy. Sometimes... Speaking your mind isn't appreciated. Unless it's funny. True. You know what those people can do. Yeah. Mute. Mute. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you know, Keith and I have had a conversation about how you can try to be as compassionate as possible. How come you're so messy? I have multiple stirrings. Oh, my gosh. You're supposed to lick you the like spoon, spoon before put down. Hasn't there been enough licking at this table? <laughs> <laughs> Did I do that right when you were swallowing? Oh, my bad. Oh my gosh, <laughs> seriously. Something about the timing. Having this squirt out my nose would not be fun, so don't. <laughs> oh, do it. no. <laughs> it would be sweet, though. Yeah, uh, <laughs> ha, ha. No, it would hurt, no matter what. Mm -mm -mm. So... It just goes yes, down. we sent Keith on the mission to buy the ice cream, and he could not resist the young person standing outside of the grocery store. Let's call them what they are, dealers. <laughs> <laughs> and what they deal in? So, in addition to drinking our sweets, we might... Oh, actually, we were just talking about it. Yeah, we may as well be eating on camera. <laughs> so, at this point, for any of you... People who don't want to listen to us chewing, you can mute. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> it's good seeing you. Or come back <laughs> when, we're, when we're done. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to create a sign like timestamp. Done. <laughs> <laughs> done. <laughs> no, we're gonna make it good. But you wanna you you wanna know how you piss off a bunch of people at once? The reason why I chose this is because Samoas are the best Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> Our viewers are like, like Thin Mint, you son of a bitch, Thin Mint. <laughs> oh, have oh, you ever made Thin Mint s'mores? I have not, but I no. have made a Samoa s'more. Oh, <laughs> I haven't done that. I've done it with those. I don't know what the name. The 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 limey, lemony ones that have like chunks of nougat in it. Are they the dosi dos? I don't know. I am not a connoisseur of Girl Scout cookies. If she inhales one. <laughs> this is not my thing. 
<laughs> no, uh, of all of them, Samoas are my favorite. They're the only ones I buy. So, mm. yum, yum, yum. Thank you for knowing that. That proves favorite. it. They're the best. <laughs> well, it's just because yeah, I don't you like can comment on the thing if you want to fight us. <laughs> oh, my God. Seriously, we are in a feisty mood today. It's the sugar. Oh. It isn't. That's a myth. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But yes, we are definitely on a sugar high. Not yet. Well, wait. Like, <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that Merlin's sweet for I want more? <laughs> Not yet. It's I get there. The limit. <laughs> I haven't reached the peak yet, guys. I can keep going. More. Oh my lordy. Merlin's like, more. <laughs> uh, I, I'm glad we decided to put ice cream in each beer. <laughs> that, <laughs> was a, that was a, a definite... Uh, Informed decision. <laughs> yep. Don't feel guilty because you enjoyed it. Lisa. There is no. No, I mean, you're right. You're. I mean, you're forcing my hand, but okay. There's a loud noise coming down the hallway, so excuse me while I turn the loud oh, noise. Roomba's attacking. I know. Roomba's attacking. Stop. Oh my gosh. When machines attack. Mm -hmm. I still want to put googly eyes on it. I put googly eyes yeah, on the, the big googly eyes that move. Every time know, the little shake, shakes, you'll be like, I did, is, that, I, is that coming towards me? Is it looking at me? I put it on her other Roomba, but then she gave it, or then she got this new one almost not too long after. So the, so I don't, I think the other ones was oh, Zoe and Dustin seriously. at their place. So it might still have the googly eyes on it. I'm just waiting for Lisa to give me permission to put googly eyes on that thing because it'll be great. Yeah. I got some real big ones. The biggest googly eyes you can find. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, if we're doing that, then they're like this big. I don't have any of those, but I will buy them for you. No, thank you. If you put <laughs> just one on good. there, it'll be like a Cyclops yeah. Roomba googly eye coming at you at night in the dark. And that Roomba doesn't like to be turned off except for by the app on the phone. But we're using my phone to record. Oh my god! Seriously, you guys are just. Doing that. Oh my god! This may be the lost episode that never comes out because Lisa cannot believe what these boys are saying. It's good. This was your it's idea, good. though. I think. What was my idea? To bring me on. <laughs> Here I was thinking you'd be all shy and retiring and be very thoughtful about what you're saying, but no. I, he's, he's, he's insightful it's and deep. Your, just your influence. You just think about it. I haven't said it. Probably a single curse word. That's okay. You can curse. Well, I know. We but definitely don't, aren't for children. That's fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. It's, you are just <laughs> reinforcing all of Keith's bad <laughs> mannerisms today. Well, we're a good pair. We're That's a good right. pair. It's all about the pairing. Yeah. It's I like ice pairing. cream and beer. Ice cream and beer is a very good pairing. We have to take photographs of this table when we're done because it's such a mess. For evidence. <laughs> evidence For that science. we actually did drink. So... Mm -mm -mm. That, uh, that other beard didn't really need the ice cream, to be honest. It went down so smoothly, though. The ice cream actually made it so I drank the beer slower. Oh, the claim Other, 52? Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, I would have... I would That beer would have been gone in two seconds. You drink seconds. it for breakfast, really. Oh, I know. It's like a smoothie. That's, it's like a smoothie. It, it, it is a smoothie. That's oh, what it tastes like. Right. And so, some people who take everything literally like, oh, I don't like sours. And this is, it's labeled a smoothie sour. There's still some beer in there. How about it, dude? <laughs> okay, now, Peace de Resistance. The original beer that we thought we were going to only put ice cream in. Yep, so this is <laughs> my favorite, one of my favorite beers. I always have it in the house. Uh, I didn't know it existed until my husband was at Liquor Barn in Reading and he sent me photographs of what was on the beer shelves. Thanks, Brent. Yes, my husband is, uh, he's... Number one. He is number one. Definitely number one. 
And so he sent me a photograph of this beer and I had no idea. I'd never seen it before. So Delirium is a Belgian beer uh, imported from Belgium. And uh, this one is a Belgian ale with cherries and elderberry. It is so sweet. My sister won't drink it because it's too sweet for her. What? But I know, I know. Well, she she's Miss a, IPA lady. She needs a sweet her disposition. It is 8%. So it is. this is a heavy, heavy percent beer. But, oh my gosh, it is so good. And, of course, the cute little oh, pink elephant. And we got to get all the things out of the way so we can put the beer down here. Okay, now, so this I think one, we should taste it first definitely before. taste it without the ice cream, because I can, yep, you can. It even smells sweet. Right? Oh, you didn't know it's so sweet. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. If your beer smells sour, smell someone else's. Okay. Lisa. Oh, that is so unique. Have I tasted this? Was this in your fridge before? It's been it's in my been... fridge for years. I think yeah, I had one made... on the door. Yeah. Uh, I may have handed you one. You may have yet to. I may have been sad because it was the last one. You oh my used God. this for your bratwurst. That's what you used it for yes. during the party. I think it was you gave me the idea. Yeah, I did. I'm like, I, I got to use a beer. And you're, like, a... and you're like, use this. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, and I tasted it. And I'm like, that's real good. And I, then I was like, I was focused. I was focused on the meat. I was focused on cooking. Because <laughs> yeah. we were cooking for everybody. It was like, a, it was a get together. It was a party. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I thought, like, Merlin. <laughs> it's like, that's What'd so you good. Me? <laughs> it's so good. So. Yes, it's a good beer. So, how many years ago? Hi, Mouse. Uh, probably at least two years ago now. Two or three. It was like it was a hot day. We came back in. Yeah, we yeah. were working. And we were working in the we orchard, and my like, hands were sore. We were just tired from pruning, and it was. I remember it being real hot. Yeah, I think it was a very hot day, which is what prompted the let's drink a beer and then let's put ice cream in the beer. Yeah. So we're using vanilla bean ice cream here, but what Lisa and I had originally used was she made homemade Asian pear ice cream. Oh and my gosh, I don't even remember that. That's the beer we the beer we used, the ice cream we used. <laughs> yeah. so oh wow! I do. I'm just gonna say it. If you can make your own ice cream, Asian pear, Asian pear with this beer <laughs> is a whole nother level. Well, I'm down with the flavor, but was it was it like less sweet because it was made with Asian pear? No, like, I'm, it, I'm it, it's just, it's just another flavor. Like, like, okay. like yeah, for example, you really, Asian pears aren't that sweet. Just no, they aren't. Fruit. But and it's kind of like in this beer, you really taste the cherry in mm -hmm. it, right? And, yes. And and you kind of get the elderberry a little bit, the but not pear, fake cherry, not the fake. Yes, cherry you don't flavor. get that cough syrup. Flavor. Right. Yeah. Whereas with the pear ice cream it, it was kind of like with the elderberry where it's like it's in the background not like the cherry still front and center it's, it's that it's that cherry and cream that really you're tasting and oh mm -mm -mm. it may have been asian pear and pear probably so probably because i have both trees in my orchard so yeah i asian forgot that it was homemade ice cream exotic. It sounds better. Than oh, is that just the regular pear? The regular, regular pear. <laughs> What's your other pear that I want to know? Is it Bartlett pear? Or? Bosk. Bosk the big pear. green with the brown. Okay. Yeah, the kind of brown. Isn't the oh, Bosk one, isn't that one they usually shred up and use on salads? It is a very hard. It's yeah, it's a, a hard yeah, one. It's a it's hard a, pear. Yeah. It's so, and I, I, I mean, some of them are bigger than my hand. Oh, Oregon the tree. grows that variety of pear so well. I got to mm -hmm. say... I have fruits that are ripe from other places, and I got to say the, I forget what the name is, what was the, the pear? Uh, the Asian or the Bartlett? The Bartlett. Or the Bosque. The Bosque. Bosque. The Bosque is just a whole nother level here in Oregon. Sadly, it has it has problems with, uh, what is it, um, well, cedar you know, rust, cedar rust, because. Uh, oh no, those are the apples. Uh, I thought those My, were. No. My pears get cedar rust too. Do they? Yeah. yeah, they probably do. But my apples just get decimated by the cedar rust. My pears don't, not so much. Mm. You have That's... hardy, you have hardier pears. I guess so. <laughs> well, yeah, and I'm not be... about to get rid of all my cedar. So yeah. That's, yeah. So how do we get this? How, where do you find where do you find delirium red? 
Liquor Barn in Redding, California. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Seriously, that's the only place I know. It's the only Brent, place I've ever road seen. trip. <laughs> <laughs> Price is no option. I just got my tax refund. No, oh, <laughs> wow, already? Your death in taxes came early. Oh, I did it early because I owed federal. What the shit? Yeah, I got great refund back from state and I owed federal. Nice. Which she just took the state refund and just right. handed it to the feds. Yeah, which doesn't seem fair. Yeah, but that being said, I wish everybody would pay their taxes because then we wouldn't have as many issues. So those of us that have paid our taxes diligently for 30 years, I should expect that we should, everybody else should just pay their taxes as well. But that's a political soapbox that I'm now <laughs> stepping off of because, yes, I'm very aware. Yeah. Everybody we know pays their taxes. That we know of. Nah, yeah, they could be True. lying. Mm. <laughs> True. Offshoring all their money. Yeah. Take, taking it to Costa something. Panama. Oh, Panama. <laughs> I just, Some offshore Costa, I don't think Costa Rica does it. I, well, I was going to say Costa Rica, and I was like, I don't think it does it. I'm just going to say Costa instead, because I'm sure there's another island that may, may like, maybe have Costa in front of it. Who knows? There, I'm sure there's plenty, but yeah. We'll just say Panama and go with that. Mm -mm -mm. This is really good. <laughs> yeah, it is real good. All right, we're that, gonna that, that cream we really to... brings out the cherry, right? It's like it's kind of like with the um, fruity pebbles. This one's not nearly as like the, as sweet as the fruity pebbles one. So it, it actually really complements the ice cream. This one's more berry. Mm. You know, it's like yeah. cherry and elderberry where is the claim 52 it was sweet but had the hint of sour yeah so it's different i mean yeah. it's good i know and i really 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 want to go to delirium over in europe and in belgium and sit down and drink all their delirium beers i love every get delirium out beer I've tasted. There. yeah have more than just the red i've only had the red variety i don't know if you've ever had anything other than. Uh, no i have but delirium does make they make quite a few beers and they're good beers so yeah we'll have to we'll have to try out some other deliriums i wonder if there's a delirium rainbow because this one's delirium red yeah so they do they have like a delirium? whole spectrum of delirium yellow yeah purple green blue have you <laughs> tried the blue have you tried the blue <laughs> I strongly recommend it. So you hear people go on like European vacation, but you never hear people like, oh, and we stopped by Belgium. You never hear that. Yeah. I love their beer. I think I want to go. All I do when hey, I'm mouse. in Europe is drink beer. Which you should. Yep. So See, now, now i got to find out where Belgium is. Why Is it hidden? Is it out of the way? Why does no, you know, people <laughs> I love Belgian beer. Have you ever been to Belgium? No. <laughs> Yeah, it's a very tiny country. Very that makes big. really good beer. What are those Belgians hiding? All the uh, their religious <laughs> background, the monks. I bet you delirium came from. Oh my gosh! Well, Mouse is not. While she may not be making a, a visible appearance, she is here. She's getting she's, all the love. She's a face you have to pet. Yeah, she is a sweet girl. If we didn't have the camera stationary, I would grab it and show you, give you a little one-on-one. -on -one <laughs> did, you ever, did you ever watch our first episode? I've watched every episode. I haven't watched entirely the third episode. I've watched the beginning of it. That, that first episode, it's like what we're, we're doing at the bar. It's, <laughs> it's like a, right here is in the background, so you yeah. just focus on us. And we're sitting there talking, you got the dialogue going back, and Mouse just walks that way <laughs> stops right in the middle perfectly looks at the camera <laughs> looks back and then keeps walking and then comes back later and then just squats right there <laughs> so we have no idea what's going on behind us and mm -hmm. we're just like doing that because we watch, we are we watch the episode professional podcasters yeah. and, and i looked at i told lisa I'm like did you watch video and she's talking about like your art dialogue you know how was the lighting were we talking loud enough i'm just like no mouse was perfect <laughs> <laughs> it's just like just come walking like hey what are you guys doing <laughs> then keeps walking up, comes up like, yeah, I'm going to chill out, facing the camera. All right. There's more in here, so feel free. There's plenty of ice cream. So He's let me know good. if you need more. We oh should save God. some for Brent. Brent. He deserves ice cream. Brent deserves ice cream. 
he won't drink beer. Not because he doesn't like it, but because he can't. Yeah. Poor guy. So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Can I have some more ice cream, too, please? Absolutely, you may. Awesome. You have all the ice cream you want, because Keith bought enough ice cream to feed all of us more than once. (laughs) (laughs) It's supposed to be a sweet episode. It is a sweet episode. We've had surprise Girl Scout cookies, Tillamook ice cream, so much beer. So ice cream with each beer. That is true. Ice cream with each beer. I thought it was going to be oh ice gosh. cream and with one And who beer. knew Keith was a mess? <laughs> oh, there's a long line of people. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, yeah, this is... Oh. If we could describe oh, this oh, episode. Oh, the best one. <laughs> oh, maybe this one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I, I have a very weak tolerance to beer. First beer in, I was already buzzed. Second beer, I at this point, I'm going to let you all know, I'm, I am drunk. They're smaller beers. Okay. They're small beers. I know that it's I have a you. very low tolerance, it's I, but I'm having a great time. I've had a, I had a bunch of water before this. so. And you had a surprise Girl Scout cookie. Yeah. So how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I, <laughs> I, I don't really feel it in my cheeks that much, but I can... My cheeks always get hecka red. Hecka red. Like this red. <laughs> <laughs> and that's more pinky raspberry, but yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Well, we won't force any more beer upon you. Well, so now I, I'm feeling this is going to be my last. So now I'm feeling bad. How much of this beer is left? That like I mean, in like my it, house. Yeah, in your house. I have at least twenty cans of it here. Okay. When's the next time Brent's going to Reading? <laughs> I'm uh, concerned for in, you. In March. Brent going in, in March? In March. That's yes. in two weeks. I know. I'm going to leave Brent cash. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have one delirium convert. Yes. <laughs> Brent is always going to Red Barn, and there's multiple people that, that are like, Brent, give me this, please. Cause, <laughs> because evidently it is Red Barn, right? Liquor barn. Liquor barn. Liquor barn. I thought it was red, red barn. Red. Yeah, yeah. You were distracted by the actual red. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Watch somebody look up liquor barn and go like, it actually is red. But it's oh, liquor it's barn. liquor barn <laughs> in Red Dean. There we go. Oh, so that's the that... other reason why you probably. <laughs> <sighs> English language is such a hassle. I stopped listening also. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gift. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Boys, I should separate you two. Well, you can sit in the if you would like. No, it's okay. Words, You're words, beer that, beer that tastes good. Beer that tastes good. So, do as we drink, not as we say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is... Uh, it's really good beer. It is so good. Mm. I gotta say... I, the other I can't ones, believe I've known you for years, and you've been at my house a thousand times, and this is really the first time you've... No, I was focused because, like, Merlin remembered. Mm-hmm. I was, I was just like, "Oh, Merlin, I need beer. I'm cooking up like was, was it like andouille sausage or something? I think it was. I don't think it was kielbasa. It was like andouille sausage. I'm yeah. like, I have the proper beer for it. It's got to be beer that tastes good. And Mer- Merlin, As Merlin, my assistant, try that. this. You got to put this in it. As if I would have a beer that doesn't taste good in my house. I well, look, well yeah. that, now, now I feel kind of guilty. I'm like, like, don't give me the good stuff, Merlin. And Merlin goes like, <laughs> I don't care. I don't live here. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I think she had some Pappy Van Winkle. Pour it in. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> the country's going to shit. No rules. <laughs> like, I think she's going to miss this. <laughs> no. How does it taste? It tastes wonderful. The crowd yeah. loved it. I like <laughs> This is my favorite beer with ice cream. Yeah. I, Hand it's it not just the memories. It really does. I think it is Practically a whole nother beer. If it goes, if it um, Delirium made this beer with like creamy note or mm-hmm. with with, as, with as ice cream, as a cream beer, as a cream beer, I would be buying that beer. Mm-hmm. Like kind of like cream ale. Cream yeah, ale. They, make yeah, it they make purposely it purposely smooth yeah. and creamy. Yeah. So. Well, no, I think I think at one point we were talking about that. Uh, probably when we 
uh, mm-hmm. this idea about like uh, beer floats. Mm-hmm. And we mentioned like, uh, did you ever hear of uh, Not My Father's Root Beer? I have heard about it. All right, that. back in the day. And you get all you get in stores, and then they came up with the Not My Father's Ginger Ale. And then I think another one, and everyone goes like, oh, that's a great idea. But the people who just like, oh, I'm going to try it, and they're like, oh, no, too sweet for a beer. Mm-hmm. So it was just kind of like a fad that people were like, yeah, if you want to drink a beer that tastes just like root beer, but mm-hmm. it's beer, it's like 6%, yeah, you can do that. But I'm, if I'm a beer drinker, I'm not, not going to drink something that sweet. But then somebody said like, well, wouldn't that make sense to do a float? Yeah. Mm-hmm. With a beer. Mm-hmm. Right. That tastes like root beer. So yeah, adult floats. Yeah, adult floats. Adult floats. So yeah, so this is what we're doing: sweet stuff. Uh, so let's see. It is. Late Click February. the like and subscribe button. <laughs> Click the like and subscribe button. They deserve it. That's the quote. <laughs> and comment. And comment. Yes. <laughs> Comment if you would like to have some delirium beer with ice cream, or if you could suggest another beer with ice cream. Yeah, Maybe well, the next time Bitmo I'm on. to Brent when he makes his run for Reading, but you only got like two weeks because March <laughs> is around the corner. <laughs> Text in the comments. We might even, maybe the next time I'm on, we'll have more ice cream and beer, and it'll be... A different set of beer. Yeah. Well, come, I, come in if you want more Merlin. More Merlin. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we're done with Lisa and Keith. Can we just have Merlin, please? Uh, you know, some of the really strong stouts and barrel-aged beers go well over ice cream. I think so. That but it's good. it the ratio is different. Mm-hmm. This is more beer than ice cream. On those, it should be more ice cream than beer. So right. use it more like a glaze or a chocolate sauce. And so, well, there's some people yeah. like the you know the stouts that we like. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's they're like, oh, it's like too much flavor with us. We're like, oh no, that flavor is actually good. Mm-hmm. Yes. So yes. like, hey, have some ice cream to like offset it, make it smoother. Yeah. 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 So, so beer Sundays. Beer Sundays. Yeah. I I think beer <laughs> Sundays like you know because you had mentioned using the beer as more of like a sauce and mm-hmm. so it, it, in that case it'd be a beer Sunday instead of a beer float. If we had a chocolate caramelly beer, that would go great with vanilla ice cream and banana. Oh. I, had a, I had a salted caramel porter. Ooh. Yeah. There you go, oh, guys. Yeah. There's the oh. next episode. That <laughs> so. So we have a couple of really lovely local places here, and uh, they were doing Boneyard and Bacon. Yeah. Right? Mm. And so Boneyards, we should do Boneyard Beers, uh, an episode on Boneyard Beers at some point, because they have quite a few good ones. And one we discovered last week was their They had IPA chai. that I liked. Yeah, they had a good chai. They had a good IPA. And it was it an a triple IPA? It was a triple IPA. It was like yeah. notorious. Yeah. Oh my it God. was great. It was it was the sourness was really offset well with the density of the flavor. But then they yeah, also the had that chai. chai stout. Which, that sounds so which, good. Oh, we're yeah, going, we're like going chai. back tomorrow night. Hopefully they'll still have it on tap because that chai stout was so Is it really still this? I don't know, but I think we should go back again tomorrow. No, because, because, so like they have weeks, like mm-hmm. the, you know, a lot of the beer places that were me, uh, that we're talking about in Tap House have like weeks. Like that one that we went last mm-hmm. week was uh, Bacon, Bluegrass, and Boneyard. So that mm-hmm. was their theme for the week. And like all the food trucks okay. did like special uh, bacon inspired dishes that were so good mm-hmm. uh, and pork belly. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the Boneyard was like that, they did a tap. A tap takeover. So they have their regular range as the beer garden, regular range of beers, which they have a great selection there, but they also had like a whole bunch of boneyard more than normal. So when, when they go back, chances are they still have it. Cause it's, it's like, it's like keg. So it's like, Oh yeah. A yeah, week, gonna, oh, week is over, but like we're like still going to sell it until it's, yeah. so it's gone. So hopefully it's, it's still there. So Cause I have tasted the chai. Whew, now, why good. did you say that? You're not going to be there tomorrow night? <laughs> putting you on the spot. <laughs> okay. I do this on my calendar. Have yeah, you there's... talked about the beer babes? No, we haven't. And that's I really... Ask. Oh. Yeah. So we 
have a core group of people. I'd say there's about six or eight of us now. Yeah. And we get together once a week. And my sister t uh, came up with the tagline Mental Health Monday. And it's we get together. Beer was kind of the main reason and place. So we always got together at a brew pub. And, or we still get together at a brew pub or a place that serves beer. Yeah. Originally, we had member Mondays yes. for those of us that are Ale Song <laughs> members. <laughs> but like uh, Ale Song, the brewery is like kind of out, out in the country, but they had a tasting room that was local. So whenever we could get off work, it was like a very short drive to come to that. And they, for business reasons, they, they didn't renew their lease. Ale Song still exists. But we're just like, Very this, so this is where God. we were meeting. This was our thing on Monday. So, like, so what are we going to do? So uh, Minds met and says, like, well, let's, you know, we don't want to stop this. Mm -hmm. You know, it actually is good. You know, that's how you really want to start off your week. But let's pick, because, you know, you have like, if you have eight to ten people, like, hey, where are we going to meet? People are like, well, I don't like this. Or, rah, 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 the parking mat. It's like, all right, well, let's pick a place and we can do a rotation. And so right now the rotation is... It, it was Beerstein. Now it's the Beer Garden. Um, yeah, I think for, we're going to stick with Beer Garden for a little while. Right. Yeah. Because it's good. Which is great. And it's fun. Surrounded by food trucks. Food trucks. Oh. Yeah, good food trucks. But that was, you know, I strongly encourage everybody to, if you can, find, you know, if you have, you've obviously met your friends through some way. I mean, that's how I met Keith. That's how I met no, I, it's not how I met Venus, but I met Venus through another reason, you know, a thing that I love. And, and through that Merlin. Yes, and through the that Merlin. Of Merlin. So, you know, you meet people that have similar interests and really make an effort to, to keep that going, to get to know people more. And, you know, we have, we have a bigger group, but some people can only make it once a month. And some people can't make it all the time. And that's fine. Some people are but it's Some people are Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh, gosh, he wants sympathy. Don't give him sympathy. Uh, give ice cream. So <laughs> <laughs> but it's really, it's really nice to, to make time in your calendar for a group of people that you like and you really want to see because that's what happens, right? We mm -hmm. don't put it on the calendar. It doesn't happen. And if it's a steady thing on your calendar every week, every two weeks, whatever works. Do it because it really is for your mental health. Right. You bond we need over to beer. be out. We need to talk to other people. We need to see each other in person. We are social animals and that's the best way to do it. Yes. To do it over some Friends like. drinking beer. That yes. is what it's see, all about. I love friends drinking And even the last one where <laughs> poor Brent, who can't drink beer, has cider. So it still works. Yeah. We cider. should do a cider one day and invite my husband and Ooh. that might be fun. Yeah. Because there are, oh, we have a great Wild Craft Cider mix. Some amazing, amazing ciders. We do. That's, it's, it's, well. it's one of the things that's uh, downplayed here in Oregon because we're all about craft beer. But uh, think about it. Like, we also have the, prim, the primo environment for ciders. That's why we get some really yeah. good ciders. Like, there's, yeah. a, there's a huge. Well, and I think the trend has changed with brew pubs knowing that they have to have some good ciders. Right, you have to have decent well. ciders, not like, oh, we have like yeah. 12 beers and a couple of ciders. It's right. like, no, or you get more, you know, more I, people who will come because you have a bigger selection. Yeah, so, and make make sure they're good. It's nice if they're local. Yes, Wildcraft local is ciders. Wildcraft is really, really good. And then we have Bad, uh, not Bad Apple, um, oh, the the brewery that makes three, 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 Oh. I don't know the names of anything. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I remember the oh, taste. Yes, who know. makes Bad Apple? Uh, yes, who makes Bad Apple? Is it Three Trees? It. Three? Oh what my gosh. They? So they're really, really good. I know. We're trying to do this without resorting to no, our electronic need it. Need the crutch. Electronic brain. Hey Siri, who makes uh, Bad Apple Cider? People are going to say like, how did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting a signal. You need to be online. I have no signal. See? It's like yeah. we're stranded on an island. Can't do Something, anything. Well, that telephone pole went down, and now we've two towns. Two, two towns. town cider. See, didn't need technology. Oh. Once again, like algebra, technology failed. Yes. <laughs> brain one, technology zero. I knew there was offline. A I just kept saying right. Brain, two, towns. two towns. Yeah, yes. two towns. Two towns is great. 
So it they is make really good. Have you ever been to the two towns in uh, in uh, uh, Corvallis? No. It's pretty cool. No. Brent has. Yeah, I bet you like. It's, oh my it's gosh, pretty cool. They made that chocolate cider. That they, have a, they have oh, a, they have an, they have an imperial cider. Oh yeah, we've had that. Oh my god, yeah! Don't drive after you have one of those. But I think it's real good. It tastes it's good. It's very too. very good. Band and Rain, even though we're not close to Band and it's down on the Oregon coast, they're they're also really good. We have ciders. Yeah, we have great stuff. So yeah, we should do a cider episode. We gotta have Brent be the guest there. Of course. Oh, like he, he is the sure. subject matter matter expert on ciders. Yeah. And tequila. And well, tequila. Okay. And what I <laughs> people, really... like, people are like, I'll sign me up for the tequila episode. <laughs> That's a, that's like, I thought you were friends drinking beer. We're one hour friends drunk. So yeah. <laughs> deal with the change. Yeah, all good. Uh, what would be really good is to drink uh, Goza Añejo and the Paloma beers. If we could ever next to a good te- you know, and drink them with a tequila. So now we have to have a theme, just tequila. And you're like, oh, you're just gonna have to know. We have two tequila aged. Beers Did, those barrel with, aged, yeah. with tequila. Yeah, it might be that might be fun to See. do some really funky stuff. And you know, uh, Merlin was saying we need to change up our background. At some point during the summer, it would be fun to record outside. Oh, when the and, weather? Yeah, yeah let's and, do it. And, in, the, in the hammock. No. <laughs> Here's yeah. a beer you can drink while in the hammock. That's right. Recline, <laughs> take it easy. Here's your poop deck beer. So just, you know, super light, really, you know, because I love those, um, like, Rattler type beers mm-hmm. that are just great for Yeah, summer. like summer beers. Yeah, like. really light, really refreshing, just have a good time. So, yeah. So we're coming out of this. Not that we were, have been drinking dark beers all winter, but spring is about to spring here. And That's right. We have, to, we, have to go with, we have to go with the season because our, mm-hmm. our palates change, and it's like you That's don't want right. something heavy and Dark. Mm-hmm. You want something a little bit lighter, summery. We might Spring. have to bring this beer back and just drink it with a pear. With a pear. Or eat oh, a pear. Pair it with yes. a pear. Pair it with a pear. Pair it with a pear. Beer pairing. <laughs> Get it. And some really nice cheese. Get it. That might be good. So yeah. Ooh. So we basically yeah, have a charcuterie. Have a some mm-hmm. crackers, maybe. Yep. Yep. A little we smoked gouda. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Jill Havarti. Then. Uh, you I'm know there. what I really want to do? So my brother-in-law smokes everything. I wonder if he's ever smoked cheese. Because it it's would be talent, interesting yeah. to to smoke, actually smoke Gouda. Because mm-hmm. I don't, cold you smoke. know, if the smoked yeah. Gouda you buy at the grocery store, did they just inject the smoke flavoring? or did No, they no, no. You, you actually really smoke, smoke it. it. It's like a cold smoke. It's yeah. further away from the heat, so right. it doesn't melt so the cheese. And... I just wonder what the difference would, in, would be to do it yourself. I got a friend, a friend of mine that does like she'll do all the different cream cheeses. It's a it's a press of it's like Smoke delicious. Of cream cheese? Yes. Wow. Yeah, cold smoking cream cheese and you just like that dip in it and you're like, Oh, it's so good. Yeah. That's fantastic. It's a thing. I agree that it's everything's a thing. We just have too much things. Well we'll just you know, we've got the rest of Yeah, we course. have ideas. And share your ideas. Yeah, yeah. If your particular style or if there's any other theme you want us to try, but uh, yeah, I would strongly recommend dump some vanilla ice cream into any of your favorite beers and see what it does. Um, the light summer beers that we were talking about could be cool, but usually they have to be a little denser, have a little more. Yes, flavor. you want. So, you want the flavor you to be know. good, not weird. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, <laughs> Merlin has finished his beer, so. Finally, right? You no, guys have been done with good. your beers for a bit. Know, it's all good. We get. I can't help it. It was delicious. I know. It's I. That's the problem with with the claim, with these two beers, the Delirium and the Claim Fifty Two. You just they are suck not, them down. You don't want to right. sip them. You just want to. Oh my gosh, they taste too good to uh, savor the flavor almost, which is counterintuitive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so get your favorite beer. Uh, get some ice cream. I recommend vanilla bean because it's mm-hmm. good, but you can mix it up. Yeah. Um, kind of depends on the support beer. Support your local dealers. Yes. They're absolutely. out there they're working out there. in Tis uniform. the season for Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They got to get their trip to Disneyland or China what, or, yeah. or Belgium. But Belgium, the Girl Scouts yeah. They don't get to go to Belgium. Belgium. Drink some beer. <laughs> <laughs>
We got to start. Got to start training that pellet early. Right. <laughs> Ooh, you guys could do a like an outside at the fire pit s'mores and beer. He's sure. full of great ideas. Yeah. This is why we need <laughs> Merlin back on. Yeah. So. We are going to have Karen, our, my sister, who I've talked about many times because she's a huge IPA fan. So we'll have her bring a couple of good IPAs to try to convince Don't us judge her right. for that, though. It's Karen with a C. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> she's all good. She's um, amazing. She's she amazing. amazing. And I agree that whenever she's giving me an IPA, it's definitely... Like yeah. with Lisa. Lisa always has good choices for beer. <laughs> and with Karen... It's like, man, I don't like IPAs, but if she hands me an IPA, I'm at least willing to try it. Because Absolutely. I was worried she wasn't going to like the the Notorious of the Boneyard, but she liked it. She was like, oh, that's good. I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, yeah, it's good. And then I go, it's an IPA, which I usually don't like. And this is great. Oh. Yeah. It may not be IPA enough for her, but she's kind of, you know, the hazies and the fruity mm -hmm. IPAs are she's a little less. Around. Well, they're also just, they're, they, they're still going to do the ones that are so bitter. You're like, what does this taste like? But because people do like that flavoring, and just because it's not our flavor palette doesn't mean it's not everybody's. So, but they are. They're trying to work on the within the IPA umbrella to make things a different taste. That's why I think that's what, that's why I think hazies are coming on and the traditional yes, IPA are like, oh, are. that's not real IPA. I'm like, yes, it is. It's just tastes good. So that's why you have a problem. With what that. are hazies? So haze, uh, a hazy is more uh, citrusy, intense. Mm. Uh, so you get more of the citrusy flavor than you will than get the, the bitter. overly bitter. Yeah, yeah. I would so, like so, that. that the right. IPAs is the bitter for me that I'm like. Yeah, and so you have to think of the terminology. I learned this like just a couple of years ago. That when somebody says, "Oh, West Coast IPA," you're like, "Oh, we're on the West Coast." Like, no, West Coast means it's overly bitter. But when you hear New England IPA, you're like, oh, so it's the East Coast. Like, no. New England and Hazy are the exact same thing. Oh, They're just calling it. Either. So you say like, oh, I'm like, I was looking for a Hazy. All I'm seeing are West Coast IPAs. And then IPAs get New England. Mm. And it'll be closer to a, a Hazy. To the, yeah, yeah. to the more hot, to the heavier citrus right. so, flavor profile. Right. Okay. Well, that's all good. Oh, my gosh. You guys, we're in an hour and two minutes. We mm. actually did it. All right. Oh, my Lord. It's a wrap. It is a wrap. <laughs> so thank you to our very first guest, Mr. Merlin. Yay, Merlin! Yes. Merlin's great. a real person, because I'm sure half of you thought that I was just making him up. <laughs> He's not a pet. He is a human. He's not a pet. <laughs> oh, my God. Somehow, oh. Somewhere out there has a cat named Merlin. Well, with the name, well, well, I've met, I, you know, I have not met a person named Merlin. I you know, I, I know of the I know the legends, I know of the T V and stuff. I've met Arthur's, Guinevere's, Morgana's those are the three that come Gawain's. Do you see Gawain, where you're at? I know, I but I do know that there's supposedly a psychiatrist here in Oregon named Merlin, which I think is hilarious because Merlin's known for being all mystic-y, mystical -y and mysterious and messing with your brain. And then you have a psychiatrist who's like, I specialize in your brain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Miss Merlin. So anyway, thank you again. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Merlin. Thank you so much, Merlin. It was great you. being on. If that is yes. in fact your real name. <laughs> Oh my no. God. Is Keith your real name? I don't have to answer that. Stop, Tate! Oh. <laughs> Hi, FBI. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> okay, I'm shutting this down. I'm Lisa. <laughs> this interview is over. <laughs> I'm Lisa. I'm Keith. And we are friends drinking beer. Bye. Bye.